Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 148 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, where today I want to take a look at Tinker's Construct. Uh, it's recently come out for 1.16, which is cool, recently added to the Darwell20 pack, also cool, uh, so therefore available for us to start checking out. So Tinker's is one of those mods that's been around forever, right? Like, everybody knows tinkers but i think things have changed for example uh cobalt ore still exists in the nether uh but ardite no longer does if i'm not mistaken i think ardite has basically been replaced um let's see with 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 the other stuff so if you want to get like manulin for example it's cobalt and molten debris so you need you know that ancient debris stuff uh from vanilla in order to make Molten Manulin. Um, and it looks like there's other liquids and stuff to start checking out as well from alloys. Um, quite a few alloys, actually. Hepatizon? That's new, right? That's a thing that didn't exist before, did it? That's cool. All right, yeah. Molten Debris and Gold. Queen Slime. Rose Gold. That seems familiar. Slime Steel. All right. Tinker's Bronze which is glass and copper. That's interesting. Okay, cool. So yeah, there's definitely some cool stuff to take a look at in Tinkers today. So I'd like to get started playing with Tinkers a little bit um, and just seeing like what we can see, right? Uh, so there's a materials and new book that we can check out and, you know, happily flip through the introduction, uh, which I might, I might read through just to make sure I understand how everything works because um, I haven't done that yet. Right? I haven't actually read through this yet, and I'm not going to read it on camera because everybody yells at me when I even read a single sentence on camera. I'll be like, look, traits and born abilities related to stop reading, direwolf. Okay, okay. Sorry. Sorry. So I'm going to I'm gonna flip through this book real quick off camera, make sure I know all the components that I need, and then we will start progressing through the mod. Sound like a plan? Let's do it. All right, so some of the things we're going to have to get. Uh, we need some patterns. Let me just get like a stack of those because why not? Right, we're going to want the Tinker Station, for sure. Um, so it looks like there's multiple types of Tinker Station. We're also going to want the Part Builder. That looks cool. Uh, what else are we going to need here? Is that it? Is that it? That might be it. Um, okay. Those look like the only two tables nowadays. Right? There used to be the stencil table, but I guess we'll figure out what's up. Right? So Part Builder, Tinker Station. So this thing still exists. That's cool. So the top, the top doohickey still exists where you can connect the two things at the same time. That's cool. I like that. Um, there's also storage chests for storing parts and modifiers. So I'm not quite sure what a modifier is. That was in the book, I think. So if I do that now, there you go. Yeah, so that adds to here. Okay, cool. Neat. All right. So I think those are all the blocks you need, right? Um, cool. So modifiers are like enchantments, that's neat. Definitely a little bit different, right? Um, so the part builder, that's a U. So I put these in here? Oh, oh, so you no longer need to hold, okay. So if I wanted like, let's get like some wood real quick. That's right, wood isn't named wood anymore. And it's something that after 150 episodes, 148 episodes, I've yet to remember. But anyway, but anyway, sounds like my cobble works is broken too. So is this, hmm, that's cool. Look at that. Okay, so this is all in one now. That's interesting. That's an interesting change for sure, right? So we could do like, you know, a binding and then like a cobblestone pickaxe head. I'm just curious, right? And then over here, if we wanted to make a pickaxe, we would boop, nope. The shift clicking is not intelligent. Today we learned stone pickaxe, sweet. Cultivated two, piercing two, stone bound one. Got some stats, got some things. That is neat burrito. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. So that's that's basic tinkers, right? That's kind of cool, I like that. All right, let me flip through the materials because there's tier one materials listed here. 
And then it looks like there's some upgrades we can do. I want to just flip through this and see what they look like. All right, so there's a bunch of cool upgrades. Some of them familiar, right? Some of them new. Uh, so your standard diamond and emerald upgrades for increasing durability are there. Diamond also increases speed and attack damage. You get experience bonuses. Netherite's now an upgrade that kind of acts like netherite on a diamond sword where it bumps up the, the mining speed and, and also makes it immune to fire and lava damage, which is pretty neat. Uh, reinforced, a lot of the standard upgrades are there. You can now throw a totem of undying on to give it soul bound. That's kind of cool. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, give it blasting with gunpowder. That'll mine weaker ores faster. Um, light speed's interesting. Mines well lit blocks faster. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see. There's uh, cooling, which increases damage to fire based creatures. That's neat. Uh, Necrotic has the lifesteal like normal. Let's see. Piercing uh, ignores armor. Uh, there's some pretty good stuff. Overslime adds an overslime bar, which is consumed before durability. Worldbound, which basically is interesting, grants immunity to external damage, but no strength increase. It's like a weaker version of, of the Netherite upgrades. Um, and then there's a bunch of uh, ways to increase, ex uh, add upgrades, right? So a uh, music disc will add an upgrade, uh, any kind of head. Uh, you can go ahead and do the end crystal. This says brings back one upgrade slot. I'm not sure what that means. Like this adds an upgrade slot. This adds an upgrade slot. This brings back uh, the upgrade slot. So I'm not sure. Um, writable book. That's neat. Uh, and then there's other books we're going to have to get, right? So let's jump into puny smelting next, right? So we're going to need uh, puny smelting next. We can handle that, right? Uh, control click that dude and we're also going to need a piece of grout which we're going to need a lot of grout so you know let's go ahead and be ready for that um so that looks good to me sweet so that's book number two and this is how we get into the basics of smelting i think um because there's two tiers to smelting i remember there kind of being like this in 112 where there was or was that an add-on i forget wasn't there like one that had like a little smelter and then you had to like do some stuff to get the main smelter? I think so. But puny smelting here will go ahead and give you access to more materials. Um, so the introduction is not quite there yet, uh, but we do at least know the material stats, right? Like what we'll get from some of the materials here. But I think I know how to do this, right? So let's look into Tinkers. Um, if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, I think it's a seared tank. So we're gonna need some seared bricks which means let's go smelt up some seared. What I might even do is snag another stack or two of you guys, cause why not? And we'll have a bunch of it. It's not like, you know, we're hurting for resources here. Smelt it all up and let's get our most basic smelter. That's not like a plan. Is, uh, is a sleeping bag something I still have? Yes. Just don't want it to be dark out while I'm recording here. Um, so I think we need the seared tank. Okay, um, like so. And because what we want to make is the seared melter. First melter, we place above a seared tank or heater to fuel. Yeah, so that's the seared tank. That's the seared melter, um, which is how we get started with smelting. Eventually, um, we're gonna want a smelter, smeltery controller. But in order to get that, we have to pour molten copper over a seared heater, okay? So that's a thing we're gonna have to do, but we're gonna get that, right? So let's get one of these guys. Let's get, what else do we need for now? I might need some lava, but we can handle that in a minute. Look at all this cool stuff. Well, let's get the basics going, right? So I think the basic smeltery is just a seared tank with a smelt with a melter on top. That sound cool? And let's get ready for some lava. Uh, it is red, red, red ender tank. Let's just let's just do that. That sound cool? Ender tank made out of red wool, if I may. Ender tank. Cauldron, ender tank, but use red wool, and that should be cool. 
And I should be able to right click this dude and whoop, it'll automatically fill up. Nice, cool. So then some copper. And that should go pretty quickly because copper I remember melts faster. And it was four ingots that we needed for copper, right? And then we're gonna want the basin. We're gonna want this guy, boop. And then if we're going to want the smeltery, it was the smeltery controller needed a seared heater. In there, pour that over it. And, huzzah, nice, smeltery controller, cool. Now, I don't think we're gonna need this no more. So I'm gonna break these guys. We'll see, but I'm pretty sure that's the end of that, right? And now we can get going uh, with a proper smeltery, right? Uh, so let's get some seared bricks, which are pretty easy to get. I'm just gonna get, you know, 30-ish of them for now, and we'll see if that's enough. We're gonna want this to be of relatively decent size. And I believe, I believe the, the building process is identical to the way it was in previous versions of Tinkers. Okay. Um, and if you want, you can totally, um, you know, use, use the seared glass and stuff. Uh, so I don't think I need the melter anymore. I'm going to want my casting basin. Where did I put my tank? Wasn't there a tank? Wasn't there a tank? There it is. Seared tank. Sorry, YouTuber blindness, it's a thing. Hey, look, we've got a smeltery, sweet. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, increasing this vertically is 100% a thing you can do. Boop, and now more space in there, cool. And we can now snag this guy, plop him right there and flip that and that'll make sure that the tank stays full, right? Now, seared glass, I believe, is a thing. So if I do that, he's no longer happy. I do that, he is happy still. That's cool. That's cool. Let's do... Yeah, so what I think I'm gonna do is the back doesn't have to be glass, but I might want glass here. How did you even, oh, I see, I see. When items fall in there, I got you. Oh, look at that, it turned into seared stone. Neat, okay, cool. I got it, I see how it works. Okay, yeah. Oh, and they and they have connected textures, which is which is awesome. Now you might be wondering why I left these two blocks because these are going to be uh, how you pour stuff out into basins and casts, right? So seared duct, filtered smeltery fluid input and output using copper cans or buckets. Oh, that's cool. So you can filter the outputs, smeltery drain fluid input and output, smeltery item input and output. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. So sear drain is what we're gonna want. Probably gonna want two of these. So these are like standard drains. They just, you know, that's it, standard drains, right? Um, and then we're gonna want the casting table here as well. Remember those guys? Feels like forever since I really played with Tinkers. And I'm almost, I'm almost sad that I'm so far into this series. Um, you know, but it is what it is. Cool. All right, neat. So you can alloy, you can casting basin into those things, or you can casting table with a ingot cast into brick. Okay, that's cool. Now there should be enough, there's one blocks worth, so I should be able to pour this right in here and it'll harden, which by the way, how cool does that look? 
I love that. And that would be puny smelting. All right, we are now we are now smelting up like a storm. That's cool. I like it. I really do. It's it's classic tinkers, and it and it looks great. And there's definite tweaks. Let's check out this item input and output thing, right? Um, seared shoot. I'm not quite sure I understand. I mean, is it just another way to insert items? Oh, interesting. Do you like put a hopper on it? So if I were to put seared bricks in there, would you be, you are smelting seared bricks right now. Cool. Now, can you still put a hopper on this dude? You can. So it's just an alternate input slot is what it is, right? Just an alternate input slot. That's all, I believe, unless I'm mistaken, but it looks to me like just an alternate way to insert items into the, into the dude. Cool, all right, neat. Uh, now what about mighty smelting? Is that a thing? It totally is. We just need to pour a book. All right, cool, so give me a book. I don't even know what, yeah, I use leather for books. I forget what I taught that thing to be. So you and you. Oh, we need, uh, how much do we pour over here? Mighty smelting? It would be one ingot's worth of seared. Wow, I already used all the seared brick I made. Holy cow, that went quick, didn't it? Not that I, you know, wasn't a little bit flippant about how much I had. I was very much like, yeah, whatever. All right, so now you've got some liquid in there. We pour the liquid over the book and mighty smelting. Hooray, neat. That's cool. So um, they're working out the deal with the dude to you know publish it correctly, but okay, cool. There's a bunch of stuff in here. So sledgehammer, uh, pretty nice. Let's see, excavator, cleaver, all your standard stuff. This one, effective on heads, can create pain. Yeah, that's that's gonna that's gonna be your beheading upgrades, right? Um, nice. Tier three materials. Uh, look at all this stuff. Pig iron, rose gold, constantan, cobalt, slime steel. All right. This has that. Um, cool. All right. Neat. Steel, bronze, tinker's bronze. Tool mines faster when at higher durability. Hmm, that's cool. Longer lasting mines faster and damages more. All around good is basically what I'm hearing. Nahuatl. All right, that's pretty cool. Causes the target to bleed, dealing additional damage. All right, pig iron. Smells so good you cannot resist taking a few bites of your tool. <laughs> uh, rose gold goes great with a bonus upgrade. Oh, is that what it does? Does it give you a bonus upgrade? Okay, experience, faster, cobalt is nice. I remember cobalt being like one of the better mining tools, right? Attack speed, mining speed is 1.1x. Though this mining speed is 1.2x, so even faster. Though this has better durability. Yeah, that's the trade-off. You have to like look at all the stats and compare them, right? Like Electrum only has an iron mining level where Cobalt has diamond. Cobalt is what's up, right? Much better mining speed uh, on Electrum, I guess, but Cobalt has decent attack too. Okay, that's neat. Now there's two more things. There's Tinker's Gadgetry and Fantastic Foundry, which are both books that we should check out, right? Um, so, Tinker's Foundry, Sky Slime Ball, huh? I'm not quite sure to get Sky Slime from. I can only assume. We're gonna have to find, I'm assuming Sky Slimes are gonna be like the Slime Islands, like normal. We might need to go exploring some new chunks. Uh, and then Fantastic Foundry, Liquid Soul over a book. 
will tell me how to do that. So liquid soul would be a wither. What? What? No. Explain. Soul glass, soul glass pain, and soul sand. Okay, yes. Soul sand is probably the route that I will take. It's a block of soul sand. I was going to say, I ain't putting no wither inside my smelter. So there's entity smelting, which is cool. You put entities inside the smeltery. Remember how you used to be able to melt villagers down into emeralds? Well, now you can do it with most of the mobs. Um, and they'll make things like molten blaze or molten glass or molten ender. Um, but the mobs take damage and they will eventually die unless you set up some kind of, you know, method to heal them, which <clears throat> we might we might wind up trying this. Find a way to make infinite emeralds or something. Might be fun, right? But look at all the different items you can get from all the different mobs. Like, there's a lot of them. Um, milk? You get milk from skeletons? Okay. That's a it's an interesting uh, design choice there. That's an interesting, for sure. Uh, yeah. Cool. Okay. So that's a thing. So anyway, let's check out this new book, right? Uh, so that would just be some soul sand in there. How long does that take to melt? Uh, very long? Very long? It needs to be 400 degrees to melt it. What temperature are we at? 1000 degrees C. Okay, so we should be able to melt no problem. Melting time 17 seconds, 5 seconds, 11 seconds. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, no, it melted. Sweet. All right, and then we wanted our book. Now, I don't know how much... Yeah, that's fine. And hey, that's a new thing. Now, is it still true that I can break this dude and replace him to reset him? Yes. Yes, it is. So if you're looking to avoid your liquid in there, there, there is the way to do it. Neat. So this is a whole new fantastic foundry. I'm not sure what this is about. The hottest new book on melting materials. Cool. Oh, so this is how you make manulin. Okay. Nice. So basically, I think in order to do this, we need a higher temperature than is possible, right? So if we're looking at manulin, um, for example, it needs to be 1200C, where our current temperature is only 1000 because we're using lava. But if we use molten blazes, we should be good. Um, so the recommendation there is either to snag a blaze and drop it into the thing, or you could build a smeltery around a blaze spawner in the wither and the nether, and then when the blazes spawn, they're already in the smeltery and they start taking damage and they make blaze. That's kind of a cool thing. I like the look of that. I might want to do that. And check this out, there's a melting upgrade that you can apply to weapons. Melts attacked mobs into the tool's tank. Dropped items are also melted if possible. Tool can be emptied into a tank or smeltery. Requires one ability slot, single use. That's neat. So you could literally go put this upgrade on your sword, go attack a blaze, It'll have an internal reservoir in which it collects the, the, the molten blaze, and then you can come back home, and that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And then these are the three materials you can make with this. Um, tool takes some of the durability as new over slime subjects. Still not quite sure on over slime. We're going to have to try that out. Hepatizen, that's cool. Mining blocks increases your speed as long as you keep going. All right, that's kind of cool. Mining speed's pretty good on that, too, 1.4. That's pretty good. That's a fast miner, actually. I might want to try that stuff. And Manulin um, has, during combat, you deal more and more damage every time you hit an enemy. Very cool. And that has decent attack damage. So I'm assuming that, like, this is your best weapon and this is your best tool. That seem, seem about right. Because this has really high durability. It has the best mining speed. This one has the best attack damage, right? Um, Cause this is attack four, this is attack three. Might wanna, might wanna try this out. Might wanna try this out. Yeah, and the handle increases mining speed a good bit too. And this handle increases attack damage quite a bit. So making a manulin handle, so making the entire tool out of manulin makes some good sense. Unless there's something that does more than 1.4x attack damage. Same over here for mining speed. 
that's cool. That's cool. Now, the only thing I would like is to be able to combine all these books into one so I can quickly reference the different materials, right? Um, so I could easily look, right? So like attack damage and mining speed, 1x, 1.1, 1.15. So attack damage is 1.5. So this is actually, this is slightly better handle for weaponry, right? I don't see anything that's a better handle for mining. Unless potentially in puny smelting, but I doubt it. I would imagine that like the tier one and tier two materials are not as good as the tier three and fours, right? So there's one that's a little bit better for damage, but only a little bit so. All right, neat. So what should we do? Um, we could try doing that build a, a Tinker's thing around a blaze spawner in the nether. That might be fun. I might, I might actually want to do that. But what I think I'm going to do first is just go for... Man, look how much of the map I've explored. That's not going to be fun. But we should go find an area that we haven't explored yet. So I'm going to head off in this general direction here. So let's head southwest. Or we just do south too. South, southeast, something like that. Um, let's just do southwest. And I'm going to see if I can find some slime islands so we can get a slime tree and maybe start farming that stuff. I saw it worked in a botany plot, so, you know, that might have to happen. I'm just going to run around here real quick until we get to a new area. We still have a little ways to go. Um, once I find a new terrain gen area that hasn't been explored yet, which seems to be happening right about now, I'll keep my eye on the map on the top right. Watch for slime islands. And I'll come back in a minute when and if I find one. Sound like a plan? All right, be right back. Tell you what, I found a, one of these ocean water temple things, though, like right here. Oh, hey, look, perfect, perfect timing. I was just going to show you that I found the, the water temple, and then I found this. Great. Cool, slime island. Oh, sky slime. All right, cool. Oh, man. Sky slime and slime. Oh, that's awesome. Is uh, pickaxe too now. Either that or just has really low durability. No, definitely a pickaxe tool. So two things I'm going to want to do with this stuff. One, I'm going to want to snag the trees. How full is my inventory? That's a good question. You guys can probably go away. Oh man, look at all these slime balls we just got. Slime sky, sl sky slime charm fragment. We need to get into reliquary too. Reliquary is definitely one we have to play with. Stone pickaxe can go away. I'm gonna hang on to all these books for just a minute. Uh, don't need you guys no mores. And that should be cool. All right, so now let's check out these slimy sky root logs. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. So they're no longer slime blocks for the trees? Okay, they're actually a type of log. Neat. Now are you like most leaves gonna insta-fall? Yeah. Cool, and then we got sky root saplings. Cool, okay. Now here's a question, is how many slime types are there? So there's blood shroom stems. That might be another thing. I feel like that would be another thing, right? Right? I think so. Let's check out saplings. So there's green heart saplings, which do not have a crafting recipe. So that tells me that they're world gen. Sky root saplings. And then ender slime saplings. Hmm. Wonder if these only grow in the in the in in the end? That could be. Let's get this stuff. What kind of mobs are those? Are those turtles down there? We don't need our magic map from the Twilight Forest anymore, right? Yeah, I think we can put that away. Sweet. Yeah, are these turtles down here? What's this? Yes, they are turtles. Nice. All right, cool. Let me just spend a minute or two flying around out here in, in New World terrain and just see if any more islands pop up. Um, I will come back if I find a new type of island. All right, be right back. 
Oh, hey, look. So these uh, slime islands right here do not appear to be... Wow, look at them all. That's a lot. A lot of slimes on this island. So this one's not in the sky. It's actually on the ground. That's cool. And boy, are there a lot of slimes on it. Now, am I crazy or did I not see anything that gives looting? It just occurred to me. Uh, like, in my brain was just now saying to itself, hey, I should make a Tinker Sword because that would be cool. Plus, I bet I could throw it. Wait a second. Did I see looting on that? Hmm. Did I see any materials in you? Is there anything here that does looting? I don't see anything, right? Huh. Yeah, right? Nothing for looting. Now, I was super hopeful that this island would have trees on it. Maybe it was just bad luck. So I'm going to fly around and find another one of them. But what I'm also going to do is wrap up the episode here. Because uh, it's about wrapping up point, And, I, you know, this is a good spot. So I'm going to... Hey, look, here's another one. Perfect. Perfect. So it was just bad luck. So there's there's ground islands, right, that you can find uh, towards the ground. There's sky islands that you can find up in the sky. And those have two different types of saplings on them. So I wanted to get all the sapling types. Just so I can, you know, get a feel for how it works. Um, what I'm going to do next episode is probably pop over to the end real quick. See if there's islands there. I assume there are. I assume that will be the third type of sapling. Then I think, wouldn't it be fun to set up one of those blaze dudes, right? So we'll go find a blaze spawner in the wither. We'll build a smeltery around it. So we'll bring all the resources we need to set up a smeltery. Uh, and that would be cool. And then we would collect the blaze stuff. And then we can use it to make, you know, whatever we want. Um, those, those three types. And I just want to, for fun, try out the tools, right? So I'll get... Um, a nice pickaxe, max speed, right? We'll get it. We'll see how fast we can make it uh, just for fun. It's it's bothering me there's no loot or, or, or looting or, or fortune upgrade, right? So there's no luck modifier. It's interesting to me. Like nothing in here applies luck. So that's, I'm wondering if that's just not implemented yet. There's obviously parts of this mod that aren't implemented just yet. Um, but having no luck is definitely, like, a huge bummer, right? Like, where's the lapis upgrade, bro? Where is it? I'm going to try it, right? I think that's what we'll do. We'll come back next episode, and we'll just we'll just try putting lapis on a tool and see what happens. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. We'll find out. For now, Dole 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Tinkers, good to be back, man. Good to be back. I think it would, be, it would have been really neat to have Tinkers at the start of the series, but that's okay. We can check it out now um, just, just to see how it looks. Oh cool! I can uh, I can fill this thing with uh, with some blood. <laughs> Duly noted. Duly noted. That mechanic is back as well. All right, Devil Twenty signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.